Hello, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I really want to appreciate you for really uh, watching this channel. Please, I'd like to quickly crave your indulgence to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your support. There seems to be a crack within the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, as the deputy leader, Uchembe 4, has fallen out with his boss, Namdekano, and has now floated a new radio station called the Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio. Aside from the name of the radio station, which hints at a divergence of parts within the group. Mefo had earlier showed signs of a crack when he deleted his Facebook page in August. According to reports by several online uh, media outlets, Mefo fell out with Namdekano because he wasn't comfortable with the idea of his former leader constantly claiming that President Muhammad Buhari is dead and has since been replaced with one Jibril al Sudani from Sudan. That rumor has not been or has not only been in the public domain for a long time but has also fueled wild speculations about the identity of the president and has been a fodder for gossip. That rumor has only or has not only been in the public domain for a long time, but has fueled different types of uh, beliefs. Kanu on his part had said in the past that Mefor had cautioned him against peddling such rumor of flying and flying a kite. According to him, I keep saying this every time. My deputy, Uche Mefo, will say, don't say it. Don't say that Buhari is dead. Kano once said in a broadcast on Radio Biafra in February. Mefo had also clamored for a change of approach and attitude among IPOP members. But his appeals fell on deaf ears and resulted in verbal assaults from members of the group. The estranged IPOP deputy also said to have engaged his leader in a war of words over some disagreements. This is not surprising as the IPOP leader has been accused of being dictatorial arrogant and fraudulent by some of his former allies. It is believed that the IPOB leader is running the organization for pecuniary gains and not in the interest of the people. Mefor had also said in a video that is currently circulating that he had been excluded from making broadcasts on Radio Biafra and that Kano and those working with him had effectively sidelined him from doing things that he had been doing before. Mefor also hinted at the floating of another radio station aside from the Radio Biafra without his knowledge. He was also asked to hand over the login details of Radio Biafra to one Ofoma. The Ofoma. He questioned why the IPOB leader should float another radio station and prevented him from making broadcasts on Radio Biafra. A number of our people know that there have been one or two issues from time to time. But now, it has come to the zenith of it all, Uchi Mefo said. 
And I came to a conclusion and I said, when all these back and forth were going on, that for the sake of those who died in this struggle, that I would hands off office. And then I gave him the details of Radio Biafra. If I am a deputy to Nnam de Kano, why shouldn't I know that another radio station is being opened? For me, this is a humiliation of the biggest and highest order. This is an insult because when you talk about the internet online aspect of the radio, and that is Radio Biafra, you cannot write that story, you cannot finish it without talking about me. I worked for this thing for almost one year. I have been blackmailed, I have been humiliated in so many ways, Mepho said, adding that he had been portrayed as evil. However, though it is believed that Mepho resigned as IPOB leader, sources very close to Kano said the IPOB leader secretly dismissed him because he could not condone his overbearing nature. This, according to other news outlets or media outlets, was done secretly to avoid raising unnecessary eyebrows. Still, another source said Mefor took the decision to pull down his Facebook page and remain incommunicado because of security reasons. Still, Mefor was quoted to have said in a report that Namdekano crossed the red line after he disgraced the former African representative, George Unibi. Further saying that, what will befall Namdekano and IPOP in no distant time will be shocking. Any ear that hears it will tingle, he concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were on the reason why both our allies are now at war with each other? What could have happened or what led to both of them actually drawing out the sword at this particular point in time after they had been together, worked together, suffered together, you know, been through so much together. Why is it that, or why have they, at this particular point in time, uh, decided to go part ways or go their separate ways? Well, if all that has been said in this particular news story is correct, then something somehow is wrong somewhere. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but it probably should be what it is. All right, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story, as it were. Kenneth Onyebuchi says, Kano is right on the identity of the president. It appears Uchimefo is starting off wrongly, or he might have been bought over by the cabals to put a spanner at the works in the operations of IPOP. But one thing that promoted that the misunderstanding is the overlordship of Kano on IPOP affairs. He doesn't seem to be disposed to the views of his members. With this, I can't blame Uchimefo for being embittered by Namde Kano's attitudes. But what is certain for now is that the Biafran project has been grounded by these two greedy individuals. We hope for a new leader to emerge and take off from where they stopped. Guys, what do you think concerning the opinion of Kenneth Onyebuchi on this one? Well, it is what it is. Mwonye Godson says, Anybody that believes Buhari is dead needs to have his or her brain re-examined. Do you agree with him? And that is why oftentimes I've said that, you know, 
there are no evidence to prove these things until they are proven right there. You know, it will be unsafe for anyone to just uh, follow that uh, speculation or believe it as it were. Another person says, but Namde Kano is a very f stupid fool. Well, obviously, Igbos are arm robbers by nature. Really? That's why Ghanaian will continue to sack them like South Africa. Well, that is a harsh one if you ask me. You know, it is what it is. Prince Tony says, what goes around comes around. It's good. You have tasted the bitter pills. It remains Nam the Kano to expose his ugly self to the world. Yes, Igos won't be Afra and it will never be from Nam the Kano. Because Nam the Kano is very arrogant, insultive and power drunk. Anyway, the end will justify the means. Okay guys, do you agree with this opinion of uh, this man? Well, it is what it is. Drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.